Greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Previously, we took on one heck of an escort mission as we have to travel all the way back up Elder Volcano to extinguish this firewall, exposing the next, uh, the dungeon of the next, the entrance of the next dungeon. I'm still coming off of that escort mission, so I might be a bit flustered, I apologize. Today, we're gonna head into, past this, we're gonna head, we're gonna head past this door as we start the next dungeon. Man, I really am flustered. Hopefully we'll have an easier time with this and that escort mission though. Welcome to the Fire Sanctuary. I think I may have called the Volcano Summit the dungeon when we started that. But I forgot it actually led to this one, which is the real dungeon. So this is the one that I stayed a couple parts ago that I meant to say that, that was... That this one my least uh, memorable parts of the game. Not because it's bad or anything, it's just kind of boring to me, honestly. So we got these plans to work with. Anytime there's one over a pit like so, you can use it to create a makeshift platform. But of course it's not going to last forever, so be sure to get over that very quickly. But this could be the start of many platforming puzzles, so to speak. So brace yourselves, people. Got a fairy here. That's good. I wonder if there's any more digging spots we can go through. No, there's not. So we can go on ahead. Actually, the scatter shot might prove to be pretty helpful here since we don't have to rely on the uh, on the arrow so much in terms of killing potential. We can just use the slingshot to knock down these plants and then switch over to the arrow to deal damage. So we don't have to really re rely on one projectile based weapon. More up ahead. And right in the back. I was hoping to go for a headshot, but I guess that was right in the shoulder. Eh, good enough for me. If it kills, it kills. I should jump off here. That's good. Almost missed that bundle of arrows. Uh, at least I got a full quiver now. Alright. Uh, let's keep going forward. Ah, blue cobbling. I'll use my Skyward Strike strategy against you. It's probably be pretty effective against all the combos now that I think about it. But I'm not sure that'd be useful in uh in speed runs though, because it does you do have to take time to charge up that Skyward Strike. So we got a small key. Now if I only remember where that goes, but I see Claw Shot's Vine Wall we can go to. These are a bunch of, uh, bunch of pots, but still has resources, so not all is in vain. Nothing up here, so the door might be down there. Yes, it is. Oh, hello there. Oh, oh, oh. ah, the exit at last. Whoa! Don't scare me like that. I thought you were one of those monster creeps. Oh, hey, what's this? Got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts, don't ya? Who are you anyway? What you doing out here? I'm on a quest, good sir. Hmm, I getcha. Huh? Me? Oh yeah, the name's Gold. I'm the big boss of the Bogbas. Those digging mitts you got right there? I invented them. <laughs> no offense, pal, but you don't look like the kind of guy I sent in here on a treasure hunt mission. But what I do know, might just you might just surprise me. But what do but what do I know? You just surprise me. Wow, I got that really mixed up. So here's the deal. War in the tunnel is there's a huge treasure hidden in these ruins, but nobody who's ever seen it has lived to come back to tell the tale. Countless treasure hunters have disappeared in here. Poof, gone. As a treasure digger, 
I gotta warn you to just turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you, but you're gonna do this no matter what I say, aren't ya? Yeah, pretty much. Alright then, I'm gonna let you in on an ancient treasure hunting legend passed down among generations of Mokbas. Every Mokba worth a handful of dirt knows this one. Here we go. He who seeks the entrance to the king's treasure, look for the two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of a sleeping statue. Do this and the path will open before you. You remember all that? And you're golden. I can remember I can memorize that. Some of my guys here are searching around here are searching around for the treasure. If you get lost, holler at one of them. Anything else to see gold? Mock the ledge of the runes, you just gotta repeat the hint again. That's still pretty good to memorize. Might be, it might just be it might all just be some frilly old story for baby Bogbus, but we'll never stop looking, and today's no exception. And with that hit in mind, you can now use a small key to enter to the more central hub portion of the of this dungeon. Well, at least we can see where the door is. But getting there, of course, it's gonna be a completely different story. Ah, dark keys. I figured they'd be fighting all those walls. Oh, there's four of them. I thought there'd only be just two. <laughs> that really threw me off there. I wonder if I can use the claw shots against the dark keys. I really want to put this to use. Come on. Work with me here. Oh, okay, that didn't work out so well. And I can't even use my B items either. I can't use anything when I'm cursed. I just gotta run around and wait for the curse to wear off. There. I don't think the claw shots would work against them anyways. Okay, here I am trying again. Okay, it does work against the Mogma, so I suspect it might work against other, other enemies too. But speaking of, you have uh, the monster horn. So I'm gonna take that from you. In risk of having a text box, but it's worth it. You never know, I might need to use a monster form to upgrade one of these days. But one of these days, I mean pretty soon. Like, as soon as we're done, done with the fire tank, we're gonna get that last secret flame. Alright, that should lead us to another door. Yes, it does. And we can head on through. There's a... Uh, Staircase. Let's go over here first. Yep, there's a small treasure chest. And this, of course, gonna contain a red rupee. Some more arrows to work with as well. Nice. So arrows are gonna be a main factor. At least the iron bow's gonna be a main factor in this dungeon, as we've seen so far. Well, we haven't really seen that yet, but they are gonna play a major role in the fire sanctuary. But now we've got a new enemy to worry about. I wonder if I can target it. Ow. Uh, no file need needs to call for you for advice or anything like that. I just want to learn if I can see if I can learn anything about this big magma hand. Yeah, I can. Good. The Magmanos. This hand-shaped monster dwells in fiery lava. Its body is made up entirely of flowing magma. As such, it is invulnerable to most attacks. Theoretically, it would be possible to inflict damage on the monster if you were able to solidify its body. So that's something we'll have to keep in mind. But we don't have the means to... Uh, to take it out right now. But that would be a bad thing if we did, because we actually need it... to, to go up this platform and head to a higher floor we will we will be able to deal with those later but that's not gonna be for quite a while but for now just look at them as more of helping hands since they will be able to help us get up to higher ledges that was completely necessary for me to use a bow but i just like using it and like as like we've seen before they do kill the mob back not back but the bacabas in one hit so they're pretty useful to use. So 
come across there. And we can land right now. Not sure if there's gonna be any more comments we have to worry about. So there's one over there. He's probably not gonna be a danger to us, but I'm gonna kill him anyways. Oh, it's that shot. There we go, made up for it. We could drop down there. Yes, we can, nice. And there's a uh, digging spot, but we can't do anything right now with it, nor with this gate. That's gonna come till later. Head on through. Okay, this is one of the parts of the fire sanctuary I remember the most. Not that Dark Lizalfos. It's this particular area. We're gonna be here quite a few times throughout our visit in this dungeon. But we've got Dark Lizalfos, a new enemy. This beast has superb fighting skills that uses an iron arm iron arm guard. Watch for quick counterattacks when you when your attacks are repelled. The creature's breath can cause a curse that will prevent you from using your swords. So I recommend exercising extreme caution. That's pretty much the only difference to the Dark Lizalfos other than it's uh, a color a color swap with the original Zalfos, and it has a bit of a mohawk. Your bash, good. Hey, come on. Oh. That fire, there's that curse breath. I almost said fire breath. Deal, used to deal with a lot of Zalfos, it's as you are most of the games. At least a few of them, not, can't say most. And the doors are unlocked upon inst- Upon his defeat. What is that hook beetle to get that evil crystal though? Fit that text box. Wait, actually this is not the area I was thinking of before. It's another one that's kind of like a hallway of sorts, like this area, but... This was not the spot I was thinking of. It's just a straight up... Like a, like a straight up bridge. Look how that mixed up. Okay, this room can be a little confusing. It has uh, stumped me a bit in the past. So first things first, clear out the uh, amount of enemies in this area. There's three, and that's all of them. Ooh, there's a bunch of rupees up there. Hope you don't get to those. Really wish I had that speed upgrade from Gondo, but that's gonna come in time. I was actually thinking of, uh, of leaving, leaving Elton to, uh, grind for Tumbleweeds off screen, but I just forgot about doing that. But like I said, we'll get to that in time. Also, I should have got those bombs because we actually need those uh, to, uh, to progress further past this room. Get a bomb. And then fly all the way around to unclog that little spout. If we crash a bomb into it, that will cause the magma to flow. It might be a minor detail to overlook, but it will be really handy. Trust me on this. I never understood why this particular plant was here. It really serves no purpose. So don't try to go after that whatsoever. So I see you, Mr. Cursed Spume. Get those, uh, those blue rupees as well. Come on. There's two of them. Is there more from ahead? Yes, there is. That's another one. It's probably gonna be even more. Nope. That's it. All right, now uh, go back to my scatter shots. So I can see my arrows. So if we knock a plant down and create a platform, it will move because of the spout that we unblocked. If you don't do that, then the platform will stay in one place. Most I most of the time forget about that little detail, but it's really important to uh, keep in mind. See another magma. It's in a very precarious situation. That stuff looks hot. I wouldn't mind a little hot bath with my sore shoulders, but this is too much. What we've got here? Another new guard? Ha! 
You can't break me with interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not some sideshow for you to gawk at. Get lost. Shoo now. So this guy is really, really stupid. He thinks we're in league with the Bokoblins, but... I mean, judging by our appearance, we're clearly not. It just goes back to how dumb the Magma could be sometimes. So to clear out this uh, hardened floor, well, it's a hardened Magma, I guess. You use your Gus Bellows to dissipate it. There's gonna be quite a few of these, so the Gus Bellows is gonna play a bit of a role in this dungeon as well. Clear out those, we can get to this small treasure chest. I think this might be the dungeon map. Uh, I'm not completely sure, but let's find out. And? Nope, it's not. It's a small key. I figured as much. Besides, there was that, there was that locked door that we saw before entering this room. So it would make sense we didn't get a small key in here. So we'll exit through here. Use our newfound key to access yet another room. What do we have to work with here? A couple of plants. I think if you could stab one of the plants, you could carry it with your sword. I'm gonna test that after I clear up this dick spot. Oh, it does hurt you in case you get too close. And so why so prickly? And yes, we can carry it. We're actually gonna need to use some of this. Clear out some of the... Some of the plants there. Actually, one one group up ahead, so I'll need to use that. Besides, I want to get to this digging spot. So we have to uh, take uh, extinguish yet another firewall to do that. Dab one of the plants. And then head up this staircase. Where's going to be a, a cobbler here? No, there's a, uh, a choo-choo, but I'm not too worried about him. Target the toad, and then fling your sword. And that's how you take care of the wall. So a lot of plants here, so it's a really big indicator for you to uh, use one of them. Not that you can progress any farther past the firewall, but I don't think you can pass by with your invisibility frames. So what is this container? Is it an evil crystal? I so called it! I have no idea how I was able to remember that. <laughs> I guess we've just been encountering a lot of those, so maybe it's still fresh in my mind. Then again, I always seem to remember that particular chest whenever I'm in the fire sanctuary. I don't know why. I guess it just left that much of an impact on me. Who knows? A small chest with another red rupee. wonder if there's anything we can use to... No, we can't use a hook beetle there. I thought we could. Actually, down here. I guess he just got chopped off and landed there. Only logical explanation. Take care of this digging spot. Oh, that's it. Just the one green ruby. Alright then. More mo uh, magmas. More bacoblins. I see a, a dark keys there. Let's take them all out by combat. And three. Nice. A lot of bird statues here. Oh, there's you. Oh, I thought I could get ya. Well, at least it wasn't that easy to, well, not that easy, not that hard to deal with. Okay, go through here. Alright, there's two Meg Megmanoses to deal with. Or Megmanos. That's just the way to pronounce it. Plural or singular? Maybe so. I have to remember which way go oh, can lead us to uh, progress. Can I climb up that wall again? No, I can't. Actually, I can. Oh, the door's locked, so it doesn't matter. So I can't, I can't go back to those, to those plants. Actually, there's one right over there. Come on. Be helpful, please. Be a helping hand. Thank you. I can stab this. The best way to, to get these guys to come up... Oh, I can't run! That's a bad thing. I thought you could run while using the plant, but I forgot Link put his sword away when he does that. I'm having a lot more trouble with these guys than I usually do. Then I get completely on the LP curse. 
because the LP curse always makes things that are very easy a lot more difficult. Just walk over the spots you can see, yeah? and that's how they show up. Uh, playing with the plants, uh, and then they'll harden. Uh, a couple of knocks on the hand, and that's how you deal with it. First, I want to use his hand to get up here. Oh, no, it's. Oh, I saw something. I saw a bit a bit of it, like a tiny piece of it on screen. Uh, able to to uh, get away from it. This leads to more plans, so I have to deal with these guys regardless. Just walk over the spot, and then it'll pop up. Use the plant, then knock it a few times, and that's how you deal with the Meg Minos. Oh, it saves that guy too. Might have to go back and uh, and lower him down now. I think that's where that second door leads to. Uh. Hey! Yeah, I was watching you, pal. You really sucked to those lava thingers. Amazing stuff! And if you don't mind doing one more thing while you're at it, how about you get me down from here? Well, that's kind of what we have to do anyways. <laughs> Okay, so go through that door. Now we can lower him. Huh? I think we could do that by just automatically going towards him. No, there's a switch. First, let's take all this up. Heart. What's this? Oh yeah, since we drained the most of the magma here, it reveals more of the floor to us. That heart. Now we can use the switch to lower this magma down. Oh yeah! I'm saved! I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I owe you a big time! Are you here looking for treasure too? Hmm... I guess you could say that, so yeah? Haha! <laughs> you were totally caught up in that too, pal! I can see it on your face. You're here because of the ledge of the sleeping statue, right? But well, those are some busted old digging bits. You can't go using them for treasure hunting. <laughs> I got it. As thanks, I'm going to give you a replacement pair for my secret stash. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> All yours. They fit in a buried treasure chest, so they ain't dirty or anything. Now, these ain't the kind of thing that you can get your hands easily on just anywhere. Oh, I butchered that line so bad, so take good care of them. <laughs> right then, I'm out of here. So long. So, we open the chest. This guy actually makes good on his promise because we got ourselves the Mogba mitts. Even the Mogba don't see digging mitts this fancy very often. They don't just dig holes, they also let you burrow your way underground. Try to find holes that you could dig down into. So with our new magma mitts, we can now uh, burrow underground like so whenever we see the burrow prompt. There's a bunch of rubies here too. So let's get all these fast before we end today's video. Hey pal, how are those mitts treating ya? If you want to get a good look above ground, just press Z. Got it? Press Z to see above ground. Don't you go forgetting it. So, it gives me to find the exit, as if the spotlight wasn't a big indication. You press Z to see above ground. Get all these uh, rupees. That should be everything we can collect. And we're gonna counter bombs underground too, so... Just flick the Wiimote up to knock a bomb into a blockade. And then wait for a bit to blow up. And that's more or less the gist of the Magma Mid's uh, usage. And there we go. Let's see if there's anything else we could do here. Locked door up ahead. We can go back there. So I think this could be a good stopping point for today. So next time on Skyward Sword, we're going to progress even further into the Fire Sanctuary, sanctuary with our new... Magma bits in hands. Get it? Hands because we have using two of them in their Magma bits. That was a stupid joke. I'm sorry. Anyways, until we meet again, everyone. Farewell for now.